Hello, my wonderful viewers out there. You are welcome to Samquam GH channel. Today, I'm going to show you how you can generate your serial numbers for your receipt books or any other similar project automatically without doing it manually. Now, I'm going to show you this in both CorelDRAW and Adobe Illustrator. Now for the Adobe Illustrator, it's similar to that of Adobe Photoshop and Adobe InDesign. Most often you see people doing it manually, that is changing the, the values one after the other, or some also will use the revolving stamp to do it manually. But we are in the digital era and therefore I'll show you how to generate it automatically. So please subscribe to my channel, like the channel, click the notification bell and comment so that I'll continue to bring more. Okay, so let's start. So you go to file and this is where the secret is, print merge. So go to print merge and click on create or load print merge. Now you have access to do two things here, either to use numbers or to use text. So today's lesson, I'm showing you how to generate automatic numbers. And then another video, I'll show you how to add names to a certificate or any other similar project that you are doing. Okay, so with this, we'll go to add columns and now we are going to use a variable to represent the numbers that we are going to generate okay so i'm going to use five zeros as my variable then i'll go to numeric now the format here is asking you what set of numbers do you want as your uh, serial number so i'll also go for five digits just as i have done for my variable now it will ask you the starting value of your numbers that you are going to generate so this is our first receipt book and therefore we are going to start from one then on tick this and then we can fix in the ending value now most receipt books have 50 pages and therefore we'll end our first receipt book at 50 then when you are done filling the spaces you click add for you to know that you are doing the right thing this should conform to the settings that you have done previously so you can see it starts from 1 and ends at 50. Good. So now we'll click finish. And immediately after that, you are going to see this window on your screen. And that is what is going to help you to do the rest of the work. Okay, so at this point, you remember we used five zeros to represent are variables and that is what is showing here for us so what you do is click on it and then insert selected field so now we have this on our work so we are going to format our variables now so one you have to change the font style so I'll go for this and the font size I'll go for 16 and then I'll position it exactly where I want it now take note the numbering is going to start exactly where we have the less than sign and for that matter we have to also look at the alignment so I'm going to use align to the left so it means that when the number increases it's going to align it to the left so as simple as that okay so we are done with the 
formatting of our variable. Now, if you want to give it a color, you can still go ahead and give it a color. And when you generate your automatic numbering, it's going to appear in that color that you choose. So I'll leave my as it is. And then when you are satisfied with everything, all that you have to do now is to click on Merge to New Document. Now it's going to move the work onto a new document and start numbering it for you from 1 to 50. Now, if you also want to print it directly, then you fall onto the next option, which is perform print merge. But I will not advise you do it that way because in the process of printing, the paper may jam and you may have to start the whole process again. But when you save it as a file, you can then fall onto that page that did not print well and then you do the right thing. So let's click on this, merge to new document. Okay, so as you can see, the numbering starting from one and the pages are following down here. So if we go to page two, you see the other serial number two, three, four, five, in that order until you get to page. So we have successfully created serial numbers for our receipt book automatically. Now you can use this to also generate serial numbers for your receipt books, for your certificates, or any other uh, project that you are working on that will demand you putting in serial numbers. So we will move to Adobe Illustrator and then we will see how we can equally also generate serial numbers automatically. Okay, so now we are in Adobe Illustrator. So the same template that we used in CorelDRAW, I have reported the same template here in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so here you go for your text tool and then you type either text or number to represent your serial numbers, just as we did in CorelDRAW. So here I'm going to type five zeros. five zeros and then I'll format it so I'll change the font style to this the same thing we used earlier and then change the font size to 16 then when it comes to the alignment again you align it to the left so that if the values increase towards the right so now let's position it at the appropriate place so i'll position it here good right. so now let's go to where we can generate the serial numbers and so we'll go to windows menu scroll down and click on variable so this is the window. Now click on the text you are using to represent your serial number and come down to the variables window and click on make text dynamic. So then you will see that we have variable one, which is making reference to the zeros here we are using to represent our serial number. So now we need to get the serial number so that we feed it to the variables and that is where the difference is with Cora draw you can generate the serial numbers directly within the software but with Adobe Illustrator you need a second software which is Excel spreadsheets to generate the serial numbers for you so let's do that so I have my Excel spreadsheet opened so I'm going to type variable one now make sure you always use variable here, else it will not work. So let's start generating a serial number. So I'm going to type 000, 
then the previous one we did ended at 50 so we'll continue our second receipt book from 51 but now look at the problem we are facing here after typing the zeros that are in front of the 51 is gone so let's do this change that cell number format to text before you type the serial number so 0051 so if you are an excel user you realize that with this square shape here you can drag it down and then you have the numbers increase so i'll end it at 100 that will make another complete receipt book so from here i'll save the excel file so i'll go to file save as refer to the folder which i want to save it and i'll give it the file name serial number now this is where the secret is the save as type you have to save it in no any other type than csv which is comma delimited so save good so we can close the excel file now and then let's come back to our adobe illustrator file and then select the variables within the variable window and then you go to the settings here and you load it so you click load variable library and then we will refer to the excel file we just created and it's here serial number so just double click on that and you'll be asked this question so what you have to do here is to click yes so that it will overwrite the current variables and the data sets so yes to that and then let's see if it works so what you have to do for you to start seeing the numbering here is to change the data set to the very first one bingo you will see the numbering has changed so just as we did in excel spreadsheet is exactly what is being used as our numbering for our receipt book so if you use the arrow keys here you can have access to the other numbers but the problem here is that you cannot save it directly you have to go through some process before you can save it as a pdf and then you get it printed unlike the Cora draw one is straightforward because it's, we saw all the pages aligned on the sheet so all you have to do is to save it as pdf and then you have it readily available for printing but for the adobe illustrator we need to go through some process to get it saved so let's do that so let me close the variable window we have finished with that so we are going to use what we call actions to record our save to pdf process and then we will use batch save to consolidate all into one folder so let's do that so within the windows menu you look for actions or you can see the, the symbol here just click on it and you have access to it so now we are going to create a new action so i'm going to click on the plus sign to create new and then we'll give it the file name save to pdf then we click record at this point whatever you do will be recorded so you have to be careful okay so file save us then i'll direct it into the folder in which i want it to be saved so i have a folder here i've named save to pdf and then i'll give it i'll still use the same name receipt and then change the save as type to pdf adobe pdf 
and then click save then leave this settings as it is and then click save pdf so we are finished so at this point we will stop our recording so we can see the action has been recorded now you can use this in your workflow anything you repeatedly do in either adobe illustrator adobe photoshop you can use the actions to record it and then you later play it on subsequent work so that you don't have to doing it manually over and over again okay so how do we get our work saved so within the action click on the settings here and then we go down and click batch now we we'll see we have the name of the action we just created there so if it's not showing just go through the list and you should see it saved to pdf now the source what source do we want to save so we are interested in the data set we just did which has to do with the automatic numbering so we'll change it from the folder to data sets then we'll move down here to click on override action save commands so you choose a folder in which you want the pdfs to be saved into so i will direct it into this folder i've created save to pdf and then click select folder now we also select this which is the file name plus the data set name so we'll first have the file name which is the receipts and then the preceding one will be the data set with the number. So I think we are done with the settings. So you click OK. And then automatically you see the numberings changing. And it's saving them as well. So I'll come back when the saving PDF is complete. OK, so we are currently at 100 so it means it has finished saving so let's go to the file and check so this is the folder in which i directed it into so i'll double click to open so that is it we can see receipt data set one receipt data set two in that order so let me double click on it to open it in PDF. So here we can see it's saved into PDF and this is the file. So now you can see they are saved in single PDF files. But at this point, if you want to get all combined as one PDF document, you need to get Adobe Acrobat Pro and that will help you to be able to do that or probably use any other software. To do that, all you have to do is select all the files that you want to combine, right click on them, and then click on combine files into Acrobat. So here you have them from the first to the last files are all put in one. So I'll click on combine, and then it will put all into one file for me. So I can either print or do my imposition before I print. Okay, so that is it from serial number 51 down to the very last, which is serial number 100. Thank you, and I hope this tutorials will go a long way to help you. I'll come your way another time with also another tutorials that will teach you how you can place multiple names on a certificate where you don't have to place the names one after the other so subscribe to my channel click the bell notification so anytime i send that video you'll be the first person to have access to it and then also give me your comments so that it will shape what i'm doing thank you